uh, going to uh, head out of town to go, go pick up the, uh, the bulk of the remainder of the masks for the rest of the team um, so that these guys can have something that works good because they have to wear a mask in order to play and uh, it has to be on at all times on the field before the game after the game and on the sidelines so um, we did some research and found a mask that was built for athletes and it's going to let them breathe while they're running around and hopefully winning a few games for us and this is all to get to game one this is uh literally the day before uh their first game it is wednesday and their first game is tomorrow actually it is tuesday their first game is thursday yes <laughs> and so where you got to go uh we're gonna head up up north to uh, prescott um depending on how fast you you drive and if you take the speed limit as a suggestion or the long um an hour and a half to two hours up so uh, myself and uh theo uncle jaco here my brother and we are uh driving up north because my car will not make it probably blow up <laughs> so uh his car happens to get great gas mileage and is safe on the road so we're doing that uh He's helping out the, the brother and uh, his nephew. And in turn, the team. So, selfless act on Uncle's part. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you like la 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 la. Finally got the okay to get started. I had a hard time getting everybody out here. One of the things that our new athletic director and, and I have worked out is we have a study hall to help. We have myself there, I'm a math tutor. We had my brother who's a teacher. We had one of the teachers who stays every day and try to help them with their grades. It's been haphazard because of grades. It's been haphazard because most of my boys work and they work to help their families. So it's hard for me to say, you know, no, you can't come to practice or you can't be a part of the team because your family needs you to bring some home some income. So that's why I've been so lax this year about, you know, attendance. And so from one day to the next, we still don't know who's going to be here one from one day to the next. Um, you know, if I had 11 minutes, I mean, we'd be in, you know, we'd be golden. You know, he's a rare player. He's fast. He's physical. He's got this, the ball skills that needed. He's smart. He learns. So not being able to go to the games has been probably just, I mean, it's really hard. So luckily some of the schools um, do have where they record so I can watch it. Um, but not being on the stands and yelling, Baba, let's go, Baba, you know, um, that's been hard. You know, I'm grateful that he has the opportunity to play. That's the biggest thing. But I just wish for me, selfishly as a parent, that I could be there every time. My wife could be there. We could support him. Just wish that we knew what was going to happen because literally, game to game, day to day, it's different. You know, my whole entire senior year has been told, I was told that it won't be the same. And you're not gonna get the good experience out of it. But I've loved it, being here with my team and being able to spend time with my family, like, all the time. So, you know, I finished school and then I'm with family. So, it's all love. You just, there's moments where they test you and you're put to the test, where you can just slack off and yeah, I mean, you could be upstairs just on your phone, or, but that's where your mentality comes in and your self-control. And uh, I would say I've been tested this whole entire senior year and 
I just came out with all A's and B's my senior, my third quarter. So, you know, I was tested, but I did it. So I feel good, I feel accomplished. Next we have number three, Ben Rivera. Ben would like to thank his coaches, his parents, and all of his teammates here at Coronado. And after high school, he wants to play soccer at the next level, be it college or professional. Just finished our game against Tempe High. Uh, beat them 2-0. Really good game. Um, we played hard. I'm really proud of my boys. We, uh, we're struggling against Swarro and Arcadia, and I feel like this game we were able to practice and really put together what we were trying to do and what we're trying to build as a team. And uh, we won. And I'm proud of my boys, so that was a good game. And you know, it's senior night. We just wrapped up senior night. It's a good way to end the night. So.